Let's look now ahead yep. to this year. You got you came up with the notes last time. You hardly well, had to have a look at my. You hardly needed yeah. them, but so, yeah, I mean, I you've yeah. got. It, so, is this stuff problem. that you want to put through? So. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, for me, one of the big things is cannabis. Is uh, we oh. need we need to get our act together with that because both Jersey and Guernsey are well ahead of us on that, and we will be missing out. And medical cannabis, I'm convinced, is going to be um, a big item next year. Uh, we will I, follow the UK. I can no, sense no, we mustn't follow the UK. We've got to carve, Interesting. We've okay. got to carve our own way on this. How are you going to do that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, are you saying, I mean, I, I, I've mm. heard this argument so many times, that the Chief Constable's thing always sits in my head, what mm -hmm. he said was, you can't have something legal here that when you get on a boat and get off in Liverpool is illegal. Therefore, by the very nature, you'll have to have a customs agreement of some description to check on what you've got in your bags. Now, do you follow that? Is yes. that real? And it, is that, therefore, the end of the game? Until the UK does it, we cannot, without having a customs union uh, agreement of some description between us and the UK. What we need to do is to make sure we can export medical cannabis products outside of the UK. And that is where Jersey and Guernsey score above us. They can go directly into Europe, into France, Dinar and yeah. various other places. But they haven't got the landmass, have they, that you're talking about, surely? That's, that's exactly it, Paul. And we can steal a march on them because we've got much more um, areas that we can put up purpose-built. So you're pushing yeah. this, are you? Uh, yeah. I'm uh, is, is, yeah, there a, yeah. is there anything... I mean, where are we up to next? It's one of those things I haven't heard anything for ages. It, there's, there's work going on behind the scenes. Right. And I, I've had over th well, three people making serious inquiries. And when you say medical cannabis, people yeah. just won't go in a shop to buy stuff? Or yeah, will yeah. they? Yeah, it'll be ointment, it'll be um, various... Uh, but it won't be... Bliss or it's no, like. no, 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 no. You see, this is what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, it's not the hallucinogenic. This, this is the pain relief that. Um, so that I can see that possibly being okay then. But you, yeah. would you want to go the whole hog and have cannabis legalised? Uh, not directly at this point in time, but I think we, we do need to look at it. Um, I, know, I, I know that the police are very frustrated. They pick somebody up and they've got two and a half grams of cannabis yeah. in the pocket for their own use, and it clogs the system up. Right. So we can take my bit out then, but, but what I was saying then about people having it in their pockets, it wouldn't be like that. It would be on prescription, this is what you can have. Yep. So it's not turning up with, with no. funny, wacky, wacky. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But one day, who knows? What else? What else we got? Um, we must, uh, I'm very keen, I mean we had a very successful Tin World week this last time round and we had some pretty important guys from Norway and Iceland and we've regenerated our Viking connections. I'm, I'm really keen on this um, and we need to take it forward. And then lo and behold a couple of weeks later we were number 10 in, or, uh, in the top 10 of Viking destinations. Yes. And I feel that we should focus on a, a lot of our international stuff. I've always been banging on about it. Um, but there's connections coming up and we need to make advantage of it. Well, last year you were telling us about all the uh, Commonwealth parliamentary stuff you were going on and you felt it was very good, even though, and mustn't call it a jolly, blah, blah, blah. Have you done many this year? Yes, I have. And the very worrying one is um, false news or fake news. And the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is very worried about it. And it's got two aspects of it. One, for example, um, is the measles thing. Uh, there's a lot of fake stuff out there. Don't get your children vaccinated. It's getting very... I mean, I don't know what to even do about interviewing people on that now because mm. I can't get it balanced enough. But uh, yeah. it, there's been a massive drop, hasn't there, in, in people we're, here doing it as well, getting, yeah. getting, getting the jabs. If we're not careful, we're going to lose the herd immunity, which means that people will be vulnerable to measles. Mm. And there are children who have not been vaccinated who are catching the disease and finishing up deaf and various other problems. Yeah. And to me, that is, that's, you know, that is awful. Okay. Um, so that, and that's all of, a lot of that has been caused by fake news and people... Um, They'll just, they won't yeah. say that, of course. I mean, and we, no, we know what we're talking yeah, about here. Yeah. And I, I'll well, balance that, this thing up. Yeah, We've well, got to be careful here that people do have an opinion and they'll allow their opinions, right? And that is where the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is very worried because what is the line between free speech and misinformation? Mm. And it's a very difficult line. Um, if you look back at Singapore, they've actually legislated for this type of thing. And of course, everybody's saying, hang on a minute, it's, it's curtailing free speech. Sure. Um, Sri Lanka, when they had the bombing there, they immediately shut down social media. And, you know, we really don't want to go down those. Well, those I, mean, yeah, I know yeah. YouTube are pulling stuff, yep. Facebook are pulling stuff, if it's got anything to do with uh, against it. So maybe there is 
checks and balances in there. Although people, again, would say that is stopping free speech. You know, yeah. Look at it. Um, you can't, I, as a democratic yeah. society, you can't stop free speech, but there is a responsibility there. And I think the outcome of it was we need to educate youngsters on what is fake news. Um, we need to make sure that we keep the broadcasting people and the news people on the side um, and they use best practice. As you do, Paul, you, you know, you do give very balanced. I try uh, to balance yeah. it, but it's, it's a tricky one because, anyway. Well, the BBC actually reported on that that they normally used to have three independent verification of anything happening mm. and now they're down to one possibly two yeah and that says it all doesn't it what else anything else, what else? Um, I want, I promenade want... promenade yeah let's get the prom in oh. uh, you know um let's give these guys a chance come on you know oh okay. yeah absolutely so, i think um, i started going no, start bashing it you know no, i'm not going to bash again because they've been kicked okay. they've been kicked so up so you think they should be given the best i think they should be given a chance well, and, and if we're not careful people are going to switch off they're they're working hard out there and yeah. they're going to say do you know they're all getting paid for it though well, and, they, and they've got massive incentives to get it in early they get in, and, and obviously yeah. it goes the other way as well if they don't yeah. bring it in in time yeah that is their job the, it is their job i absolutely Maybe, agree but yeah. what about the communication side of it and i'm getting hammered but i can yeah. get an interview about the prom every week yeah. and get the biggest numbers of the whole week or month even people yeah. are fascinated by what's going on yeah. for good or bad mm -hmm. mostly it's been a negative feel to it hasn't it well we, we, yeah we didn't communicate it properly in the first place but that's all water under the bridge there's no point in whinging Something. on about that let's get it right now and th the engineer i mean this is our um one of our biggest projects that we've had since the incinerators of energy, energy from waste or, or from or from <laughs> so, so or, or Solby Glen um <laughs> dam isn't it you know yeah, it's yeah, a huge yeah. infrastructure project yeah. um uh, a bit like the railway project in the uk which i won't mention a name um but <laughs> You know, they've come across problems that they didn't envisage. They've yeah. had sewage pipes that have gone nowhere. They've had Victorian voids they've come across. Okay, Cables, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and I, I like you, it's a different angle. So we'll, we'll, again, we'll talk about next year and see how it's all. Absolutely. You yeah. might change it. Well, next year they wonder what all the fuss was about okay. when it's finished, won't they? How are you two getting on as uh, MHKs together, Daphne Kenny and yourself? I mean, like, Grail Glen, I saw you did the thing there and you're very, very chummy and matey. And is we it, work very well together. It does you know, yeah, we complement it. We're different characters, uh, but we do. Com I, I think we complement each other and uh, well, yeah, we get the job done. I think it's time for some scores, unless you want to do anything else. I mean, no, that's it. Covered okay. most of it. Prom, yeah, all for, yeah, all that stuff. How do you do in, out of 10? This I'm going to grade myself down a little bit this year because of the disappointment on the organ transplant bill. I think it's only fair that I'd, I'd put myself down half a point, so I'm going to be six, six, five. six, five, six seven, somewhere in there. Okay. Government, yeah, we, you know, um, probably about the same, seven. Seven last year? Oh, seven, I was eight, I I was eight, eight last year. So you're going down one? I'll put it down to seven, five. Do you think yeah. things are going to happen? I've got to start asking people this question now. You know, we are now running down the clock almost. Yep. How are you feeling after your, this is your first term after all, isn't it? I mean, I, I just have you hope, done what, I know you've got your things on one side, but how do you Yeah, I, I just hope that people won't posture. I mean, the questions thing is a big thing at the moment. You know... What is going on there? Yeah, well, I, I'm not a big questioner. I ring up the minister, I talk to people in department. You get far more information than if you take people head on in Timwald. I mean, dear Laurie Hooper, you know, you've heard him say, I've not got the right answer. Is, is that how you're fobbing me off? And, <laughs> you know, and, and full marks to him. He does fight for his answers and what have you. But if you, you do find out off the record stuff more than if you ask a question in Timwald. And we're only into the written question season at the moment. Yep. Have you got a view on the prison programme? Uh, again, you know, we, we are different and is to me the bottom line is has the reoffending rate uh, improved, uh, gone, you know, the reoffending rate got better, uh, got, you know, yeah. have we... Um, uh, things improved. Recidivist, is it? I don't know what the actual yeah. word is, but <laughs> are people coming out of prison and, are re and, and not reoffending? Yeah. And that to me is the bottom line, how you arrive at that. Um, at the end of the day, we mustn't forget the victims because they have been burgled, they've been beaten up or whatever, um, and we must hold them at the centre of things. Were they wise to let the programme be made? You can't turn back the clock. Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, again, people want to know what, what is going on in this, this mm. type of place, and I've been round a prison myself, and I, th I think they're doing a good job. Um, it's a difficult job, uh, but if we can rehabilitate the prisoners coming out, then I, th I think... Okay. Fair enough. Are you happy where you are? Are you happy being in MHK still? Yeah, yeah. Are yep. you still enjoying it? Yep. Are you happy in the departments? Yep, very happy with DEFA. Brilliant. Want to be a uh, minister yet? I haven't come around to that yet, Paul. You still like being the wingman? Yeah. I, and I think most people, that if you ask them, that's what they would say. You know, I enjoy, I enjoy supporting other people. And you're happy to stand again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh? Yeah, yeah. 
You're on already? Yep, I think so. Let's, let's see what happens. Sure, I mean, sure. I mean, I mean it's two years more. But yeah. As it stands, you as, as it stands, I'm, you know, your, your there's, there's, there's yeah. still stuff coming down the line that I would like to, like to have a go at, you know.